Hello, and welcome to the John and Deaky 10 Minute Bonsai Show. I'm Deaky, and that's John, and we're going to build a bonsai in under 10 minutes. So, one day John said, I can build a bonsai in 10 minutes, and today we're going to show you how that's done. Now, you can go to your local nursery and ask to see the plants that are too ugly to sell, but today we're using a nice gold mop cypress. The first thing that John does is take the plant out of the pot and trim the root ball. A hacksaw works fine for this. Next, he's going to study the plant, picking out the stems and limbs that he wants to keep. He's looking for the bonsai shape within all of those limbs. So he's pruning away everything that isn't the bonsai. There's a sculpture in here. He says there's a sculpture in there and he's going to find it. Obviously it's okay just to rip those suckers off. He'll end up pruning uh, pretty severely, actually. When you cut the tips, it'll force the plant to grow back um, thicker. Oh, I see what he's going for. He's going for this nice curve right here and probably this curve up in there. So as you cut away the smaller stems, the underlying shape is really revealed fairly quickly. Now he's trimming the tips. This right here is what encourages thick new growth to occur. The more you prune, the smaller the leaves will become, and that's known as miniaturizing. Whoa, he just cut off what I would have kept. <laughs> hey, you never know. The thing about doing this is you can just make it your own. More tip cutting. He's counting the stems to go for an odd number. An odd number of stems is more interesting than an even number. Ikebana, he says. Ikebana is a Japanese concept um, usually applied to flower arranging and within the Ikebana concept um, is the idea of heaven, man, and earth. So as John puts together this uh, bonsai garden, he will incorporate those three concepts. Very nice. So he has trimmed down this gold mop cypress into the shape that he wants to keep. <laughs> Part of the uh, Japanese art of bonsai um, is a saike, which basically translates to a garden on a flat surface. So John has just used a basic clay saucer. You can get them anywhere. Really common. He drilled a hole in it for drainage. And he's using today a high grade commercial mix for your bonsais and that would be fine. So you notice that he is building up so that the tree is on a little mountaintop. <laughs> and he's using rocks um, to add stability to the dirt and visual interest. This is his special rock that he found out in the woods. It's 
got some lichen on it, so he's going to incorporate the lichen. So he refers to these little details as brush strokes in the overall painting that he's creating. He's pressing in the dirt firmly and he's going to add moss. He went out in the woods and dug up this moss. And he left enough for it to grow back. So going back to the Ikebana concept, here the tree represents heaven, the rocks represent man, and the moss represents earth. Now he's going to add some smaller rocks. We're ready for the oak, man. Ah. Years ago, John built many, many of these psyches, and his, his son, Paul, who was a child at the time, said, Dad, you're building an elf man garden. So that's kind of stuck around, that term, the elf man garden. We got these rocks at Hobby Lobby in the floral department. all the way up to the top of the mountain. More brush strokes, more larger rocks for stability to keep the soil in. And finally, aquarium gravel to represent a lake for the elf man to fish in. A little bit more moss to complete the look. And finally, he's using a fence hook and he, he wants to encourage these limbs to grow in a slightly different manner so he's going to train them like so using a fence hook and also copper wire so these are two techniques that can be used to train a limb to grow in a different way after a year or two the support can be removed and the limb will grow into its new shape. There you have it. A sake in about 10 minutes. So this plant would need to be kept outside pretty much year round unless it's super cold. Um, in bright shade, it'll need to be watered fairly frequently. He's going to get some water. <laughs> so all of these techniques that are can be used to create a bonsai can be found in our book, The Basics of Pruning, which also talks about pruning most of the plants that you would have in your yard. It's available online at Amazon and also johntheplantman.com. Thank you. So John and I are available for demonstrations at garden clubs um, and various groups like that. And when we do our show at a garden club, we usually uh, have people put their names in a hat and we draw to see who gets to take home the creation. But today, we're just going to say that Joe gets to take home this sake. And as thanks for coming all the way up from Columbus, Georgia with her husband to film this little show of ours. Thank you so much.